Welcome back to my channel. Well, today we are going to solve one more interesting problem from courtship which is called seal and receipt. This is a bit tricky problem actually I must say. It's very interesting. Let's begin this by reading this problem. Tomia is a girl. She loves chef seal very much. Tomia like a positive integer P and now she wants to get a receipt of seal's restaurant whose total price is exactly P. The current menus of Seal's restaurant are shown in the following table. Okay, here is a table of menu where there is the name of the menu and there is a price. Okay, and the price ranges from 1 to 2048, 2048. Note that the ith menu has the price 2 power i minus 1. And that i ranges from 1 to 12. So in this way it ranges from 0 to 11. i actually ranges from 1 to 12. But coming to the programming, it ranges from 0 to 11. Since Tomia is a pretty girl, she cannot eat a lot. So please find the minimum number of menus whose total price is exactly P. Note that if she orders the same menu twice, then it is considered as two menus are ordered. Okay, so more than one order of same will also be accepted here. Coming to the input, the first line contains an integer T where t is nothing but the number of test cases, then test cases follow. Each test case contains an integer p. Okay, coming to the output for each test case, print the minimum number of menus whose total price is exactly p. Okay, coming to the constraints, t ranges from 1 to 5, p ranges from 1 to 10 power 5. There exist combinations of menus whose total price is exactly p. Okay, if you observe sample input here, the first line is test case. And uh, the value of test case is 4, means we can take 4 inputs. So the first input is 10. So the minimum number of menus, if we go from top to bottom, if we consider this menu table and if we go from top to bottom, if we take 10 as input, then we can take 10 1 rupee prize meal, means we can take 10 eel flavored water. 10 times we can take the same recipe or we can take deep fried eel bones 5 times as 2 fives are 10 like that but the optimal thing we need means eel flavored water we can take 10 times and deep fried eel bones we can take it about 5 times but compared to this one second one has minimum number of times we can even minimize this means we can take one grilled eel liver served with grated radish we can take 8 rupees of this and we can take 2 rupees of this which is also equal to 10. So this is what he is explaining here. If we have the value is 10 then we can take 10 menus at the same time or we can take 9 menus or we can take 5 menus or we can take 3 menus and we can take 2 menus. There are many other ways like this. But the minimum number of items that we can select is 2. 2 is the minimum right. So the solution will be 2. In this way, we have to trace each and everything and we have to find out the minimum number of meals as output. It is very easy. The coding part is a bit tricky. You have to understand it. Coming to the coding part, first we have to take test case as input. So, test case equal to end of input. After taking input, we have to take this array of list, right? We have to take this menu and the logic of menu is 2 power i as he given here. See, 2 power i minus 1. So as in programming, the i value actually ranges from 0, right? 2 power 0. So first we have to take that menu. So here what I do is I'll write this logic of 2 power i and where i ranges from zero to eleven eleven comma minus one comma minus one means eleven means the ending point minus one means the starting point and minus one is nothing but we are reversing means we are coming from back means eleven ten nine like that we are saying that in what order it should come so minus one why i give minus one is actually we have to give zero but if we give zero it will not include two power zero as in this list so for that reason i gave minus one here 
So what happens here is it will create an array of 2 power i means it will create an array like this 1, 2, 4. It will store all these elements up to 2 power 11. Up to 2 power 11 it will store all these elements. So this is what this logic is all about. And now we have menu and we have we took test case. So for each and every test case we have to take input right for underscore in range of test case we have to take input so n for example int of input now we have to compare this n with each and every value for example if you observe here for example n value is 10 right now we will check whether this 10 is greater than means the optimal thing is that we can recognize as a human but we have to tell to the computer that this is the way you have to figure it out and this is the way you have to find the optimal number of 1. How can we do that logically? That's the question. So how to do that means first we will take n as input and we will check whether it is greater than the given price or not. For example if n value is 10, okay, we will go from back means from 2 power 11 which is 2048, okay. We are checking whether the given price is greater than the given price of the menu or not. So, for example, if you observe 10 is not greater than 2048, it is not greater than 1024, it is not greater than 512, it is not greater than 256. And like that, if you go for a while, up to here it's fine, but coming to this part, 10 is greater than 8. So, now what do we do is, we will remove that part while n greater than or equal to actually we have to go for we have to do that for each and every price we have to compare it so for price in menu while n greater than or equal to price what do we do we will remove that if n is greater than price we will remove that n equal to n minus price okay and now what we will do is we will remove that and now we will increase the count okay so we are removing this means we are including that particular recipe price here means for example if we took the value of 10 right so 10 is greater than 8 so we will remove 10 minus 8. So means we are including this particular recipe into that account. During that time we have to count right. So for that we will take initially count value will be 0. We have to do this for each and every input right. So for that I kept it in first for loop. And now it will increment by 1. Okay. That's it. It's done. Now if you observe, we have included 10 minus 8, 2. Fine. Now the leftover thing is 2, right? 2 is not greater than or equal to 4 and 2 is greater than or equal to 2. Yeah. Here we will stop again and since it is greater than or equal to 2, means here we have to keep equal to as well. Not only greater than, it must also be equal to. So if it is greater than or equal to 2 means if we, if we trace it, Yes, both are equal. So we can consider this. So we will do 2 minus 2. N value becomes 0 and count value increases by 1. So this time count value becomes 2. Are you getting my point? I hope you are understanding this logic. You have to trace it. Tracing is the most important thing that you have to do while coding. So that you can understand the logic and you can understand the flow of data. Kindly saying, please trace it. Even after listening to my video, you have to trace it. And even while listening to this video, please trace it. It is very important. Now what we do is just print. We will come out of the for loop and we will print the final count value. That's it. Now if you run. It 
yeah for 10 we will have two recipe i mean two for 256 we just have one right so we will get the minimum is one and for 255 yeah 255 is less than 256 right so it will consider 128 it will consider 64 at about uh, 8 it will come means it will count from here 256 128 all these things it will consider all these things because 255 is greater than all these things it's greater than all these things so it will run while for 8 times and it will count 8 times so the output will be 8 yeah coming to 4096 here 4096 here we don't have but it is greater than 2048 so 2048 if we include 2048 two times then we'll get 4096 so in that case we'll get the output as 2 in this way problem is being solved of seal and precip i hope you enjoyed this problem i hope you understood the logic let's submit this code if you feel difficulty again then i will definitely make a separate video on tracing of this each and every part as well for you definitely yeah it is submitted so this is all about this problem if you have any doubts if you have any queries let me know by comments i know it is not that easy to understand the tracing part of the code but you have you must have patience and you must have passion to do that so if you have any doubts i am always there to solve that i will definitely make a separate video on it if you want okay if you like the video then hit that cute little like button because that motivates me to make more interesting technical stuff for you if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and even don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you'll never miss an update from me thank you